Mike Hall. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Well, Francis got me to help out. All right, so I'm not looking at this. My name is Alex Romer. I've been doing it about seven years. Nicholas, uh, about six or seven years. I'm Pete. Don. We're the owners here at Mighty Orion Fitness. What, what started the whole ninja chair? Alex, and actually... My mom. Her mom. Really? <laughs> My mom. So Alex went and spent the weekend with her, and he came yeah. home and said he wanted to watch Ninja Warrior. Okay. And she, got, she's a big, she was a big fan of the show and got him watching it. And so he came home and I actually called her and said, what did you do? I don't want to watch some ninja show. She said, just, just, it's not what you think. I don't want to watch it. And it, just, it just all snowballed from there. When we started looking at outside an actual gym, um, only one that was close to us was one in Gainesville and it had just closed. The next closest one was down in Orlando. So it was a good, you know, two and a half hour drive. And it, they wanted to do it two or three nights a week, and we were not taking that drive. And it was it was a small place even then. It was a CrossFit gym that had just put in a few things, so it wasn't. It wasn't as big as as big as Ninja Gyms are now. <laughs> My name is Aiden. I've been doing Ninja for one year, six months. Oh, I used to be pretty skinny. These are, this is like twice the size of how I used to look. Okay. So it was definitely harder to be able to go outside and play like neighborhood football. If I'm this skinny, it's hard to look at me and say, I could probably tackle him. <laughs> it has definitely made it easier for me to communicate with them because they respect me more. I think I've Definitely come close to some of my other friends doing ninja. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. You can think more of yourself instead of trying to think of how can I do this? It's how can I do this? My name is Tabitha Michael, and I've been doing it for a little over three years. Not as much as I am now. Honestly, yeah. You become more scared. A little bit, but it's not like a lot. Which one? I felt a lot more. So, how did you learn to deal with that fear? Um, I, I just deal with it. It's like, I know I'm not gonna get hurt. Like there's not a big chance of me getting hurt. So I'm not gonna worry about it until I need to. No, I fall a lot off that. There's multiple times where I end up falling and I'm like on the floor or on my coach. Like personal issues, it makes me think badly about myself at the gym, and that like it makes it harder to what feels like it feels like harder to improve my skills, and it makes me feel like I'm not doing a good job. And then one thing after another, I just want to leave. I realize that it's not like just because I'm going through personal issues, it doesn't mean that the gym is bad. It's a lot of fun. They are really, they have a lot of energy. Yeah, they're a lot of fun and they're, they do really well. Even if they don't think they do well, they do really well. So it's hard for them sometimes because they don't think they do well, but they do awesome. Okay, I am going to allow you to do redemption, but you are not allowed to do the lobster hook. Setting up for the teenagers. Okay? You can go do the offers we just did. I'm 
Chandler, and I've been doing it for about five years. Wow. And you're how old now? Eleven. What's your motivation for coming? Um, probably, um, well, I probably wouldn't really be doing anything if I didn't go to Ninja and my friends here. Ow! Hungry. All right, Red Team, do you have a name? Uh, name. It's me. What's your name here? The name, get yeah, your name here. All right. Like I did ninja for like a few months, quit do wrestling, then I went back to ninja I think uh, two years ago. Um, Cause uh, I I like to climb. You like to climb? Yeah. Nice. Get my energy out. Nice. What's your least favorite? What's the hardest one? Um. Uh. It's really nice, really refreshing. Um, they can be rowdy sometimes, but um, it's really fun just getting the kids, once they figure out how to do something, just they're so happy. And it always makes me feel good that I was able to get them to do that. Um, what are you sometimes I feel like um, the technique I'm teaching them might not work for them. And I might, and I feel like I'm almost like, holding them back a little bit more because the technique they're using might not work for them. And if I'm the one that teaches them that, that would be a personal challenge that I am putting on them that they now have to overcome on their own. You want to be strict, but if you're too strict with them, they're not, they're also, they're not going to want to listen to you. And then you got to listen to the individual person. Not everyone's going to do the obstacle the same way. So there's a couple basic things that everyone's got to do in order to do it. But um, different people have to do slightly different body motions to complete the same task. Running, you have like a lot of adrenaline and you, or I forget about what I need to do and I just go, or I think about everything too much and I forget what I'm not supposed to do and then I just mess up. So when you're coaching, you're not really, you're not on the obstacle, really. Um, instead, you're trying to um, make, get, um, explain and sometimes demonstrate um, different ways to move your body and to pull yourself forward, throw yourself back, um, just 
trying to teach the different ways to do it. Uh, my name is Brenna. I have been doing this for about three years now. Um, my little brother had started. He saw the show. We researched, found the gym. My brother started at the time I was doing dance, and then I quit dance to do this. Don't regret it whatsoever. Uh, my name is Andrew Goggins, and I've been doing this for about six months. Well, I saw the TV show American Ninja Warrior, and like I've always I've watched it for like the past five seasons. I've seen like cool like younger people do it, and so like if younger people can do it, maybe I could do it too. You know, I'm 17. Well, when I first walked into this gym, something that scared me was the fact of that no one was giving me any side eyes or "You're new, why are you here?" kind of thing. It was a everybody's so welcoming versus dance. I walked in, and people were like, "You're new, we don't like you." And it took me a while to adjust to an environment like that, but it's definitely one of the things that I like better is the environment overall. It's a much happier place. I'm great. It's just everything, really. Seeing other people do it with me, that kind of motivates me. It fills me. It's like it gives me like that drive to do it, and you know, physical fitness, I guess. There you go. So you like this better than this? Absolutely. Uh, the assembly. No, I cannot. Were you excited when you heard when Alex got the TV show? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I mean, how can you not be? Yeah, really. You know, he, was, he's been looking for it, wanted to do it. And, it's kind of surreal. If someone were to come to this gym thinking it's exactly like a TV show, what would be their first realization? There's no water. <laughs> well, and just pure size. Yeah. You know, we cram as much as we can into this space, and they have unlimited space. They put six obstacles in the length of our entire gym. And, Actually, you know, it's probably like two the length of our yeah. gym. <laughs> and so... They, they have a lot more floor space because mm -hmm. they get too spread out. The show, it, it's one of those, I don't know if you've heard this about it before, it is a TV show first, competition second. So it's more about the production and the showiness and all that than the actual ninja and the competition itself. So... I, I definitely like the gym competitions and such. Uh, just how they work a lot better. Um, it's a very unique setup and format. Uh, there's a speed run and endurance, and they get to run the speed course twice. It's just great for the athletes. Great for the families, which, you know, we are still a family. Um, they get to come to a competition and get to run three courses. Because my mom grew me up on almond milk. I hate cows with almond milk. Almond milk, so almond milk, whatever type of milk. Is that brand new? Like brand new. Yeah. I don't like Bangle. almond milk. I can't guarantee anything like any this time. I have no milk chalk. That's fine. The worst. I like strawberry milk. Is goat's milk. Okay. Yes. I don't like any type of